wicked should not go unpunished. Proverbs 11. We support the uh, actual wickedness of America, man. If you ask somebody, how do you feel about uh, 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 these uh, sodomites, man? And men want to be women and women want to be men. Most people don't even have an answer, man. They'll be like, well, you know, they do what they do, man. That's on them. But now you're supposed to have the divine set of the lawyer, Yahweh. How about Shimei outside the scriptures? He said, "What well, they should be put to death, man." So you're supposed to have that same mentality of the Lord, man. You know, when we're coming, to what's up, brother? You know, right? y'all Israelites, man, remember that, y'all Israel. It says, uh, "It says, I have put, I have recompensed thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, man." Like I said, that worship the idols, idolatry. You know, all the unclean rituals that you do. You know. So it says, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. When it's all done, you're gonna know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh uh, Shai uh, was was the power that was behind this judgment that's coming forth to you, man. You know, you're gonna know that it was the Lord. Don't understand. Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel 18. I go over one chapter. Precepts say go to 8, 18, 8 and 18. Ezekiel 8 and 18. Therefore will I also deal in fury. My eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. So they said they're going to cry in the Lord's ear with a loud cry, man. But the Lord are not going to hear them, man. Because he said, when I call, you didn't, you didn't, uh, uh, you didn't answer. You didn't come forth. You didn't believe. So the Lord's going to have a sore destruction for you. Be no mercy. No. Let's see. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 13. And I will dash them one one against another, and he's gonna break them into pieces. Even the fathers and the sons together, said the Lord Yahweh, I will not pity nor spare nor have mercy, but I will destroy them. And that's point blank, man. The Lord is telling you, He's not gonna have pity on you in that day. He just gonna straight up destroy you because you have refused, man. He had the men of the Lord coming out week in and week out, man. Dying and crying for the, for the abomination that's done in the midst thereof. So when that time comes, man, the Lord ain't gonna have no pity on you when He brings His destruction. This destruction is gonna be it's gonna be hard, man, but it's gonna be fair. You know? What you want, man? What? Even though the scriptures say, yeah, even though the scriptures say, 
that if you have a child, you have two women, and the firstborn, he gets half your inheritance. But the Lord didn't set it up like that because I understand all this. Yeah, part. I just want to yeah. Up. Haggai was yeah. We got to explain it after that though. It says, but he who was the bondwoman was born after the flesh. Right. But of the free woman was the promise. Uh, right. So the promise went to Sarah's kid, which was Isaac. I'll keep reading. And it says, which things are an allegory? Which things are an allegory? allegory. Now what's the allegory? It's mean? symbolic, right? It's symbolic. Yeah. Meaning it's not a true story. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's these it's not like, real people. Yeah. It's no. It's not saying they're not yeah, real. Yeah. It is. No, it's not. Okay. Finish, finish reading. What, it. what it's saying. Finish reading. What it's telling you is. Finish reading. What it's what telling you is. What it's an allegory. Show understanding. It's symbolic. I just need you to finish so, reading. What that's what's saying is not gonna finish. you have you have certain people, right? It says she was of the bond woman, but because you have certain people in our in our nation of in Israel. In that situation, what did the allegory? It said in by, our by being I gotta an explain allegory. it, bro. But you, you already on, been here before. We didn't went through. No, I really. Ain't never I ain't got. I don't have to deal with you if I don't, I don't really want I to. I don't have. I, don't, I have never talked to you about. Yeah, you, you bro. have, bro. You didn't been. That's a lie. That's a filthy fucking lie, bro. You saw me across. I didn't talk to you about I, this. I didn't deal with you before. I didn't talk to you I about this. I didn't deal with you here. It wasn't about I this. I didn't deal with you twice, and you, you didn't get it, right? Running from. It. No, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna read the scripture. Thank Check you. this out. Check this out. Are you going to another? No, I'm gonna show you the scripture. I don't want to go to no no. Exactly. You don't want to. That one. You can't give me. You can't give me the honest Because I'm dealing with you. I'm dealing with you. You're not dealing with me. Yeah, because I don't have to deal with you. You're in the public, bro. I don't have to deal with you, bro. You don't. You, you really realize that. Because right. you're not a believer. But you're not reading. You're not giving me understanding what I asked you. You're not give me understanding of. You're I'm, telling I'm me an allegory you. don't mean what it what says. It's symbolic of because you have our people. You have certain people in our nation. They only believe in the laws of the Bible. And they don't oh. believe in they don't believe in the sun. But how does how does that being allegory pertain to that's, that that's situation? Because it's not talking about all of that. Hey, it's talking about Hagar man. and Sarah. It told you she was a bond woman and one woman was a, a so woman. How is that allegory? It's, it says it's symbolic. The scriptures are yeah. what's symbolic? That 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 particular it, it's, it, that particular scripture. Because we have people. What about we, that we have we have our people. It's we, symbolic. We have our people, right? See, what they believe, what I'm they asking believe you, bro? in the they believe in just the law. And certain our people say that's irrelevant. That's because she's a bond woman. So that means if you're gonna just constantly go under the law. Then you're not of the children of the promise. But you didn't even finish reading it. You yeah. asked up. No, I'm not. Finish reading what it says. Bro, that's that's what it says. You didn't finish. It says, it says, which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants, one from Mount Sinai, which is gender and both bondage with Sarah. So if you if you believe that that Bam. Exactly. We're not Bam. children of That goes Sarah. against what you just you know said, though. We're not children of Hagar, bro. We're children of Sarah. It's a, it's a goddamn Hebrew. Because you Ooh, have... No, Abraham a Hebrew, right? And Ishmael is too. And Ishmael is too. Hagar is the Egyptian one. Exactly. How the fuck they give birth to an Arab child? And, 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 it's, it's How they give birth to an Arab? Ishmael. Ishmael is, 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 is Hagar's son. Yeah. How they, how if, she a, if, if she an Egyptian and he's a Hebrew, it up. how they give birth to and Abraham? What happened? Did, did he get the promise? No. The promise was not given to him. It was given to Isaac. Hey, man, death gonna come to you, man. Hey, death gonna come to you. You don't even know the Lord's name. Praise the Lord. You know what I mean? Death gonna come, death gonna gonna come to you, bro. Hey, it's coming to everybody. Death gonna come to you. It's not coming to everybody. Yes, it is. Come back around here and I'll show you. Hey, death coming to you, man. Yeah, death coming to you. As a matter of fact, you don't even look like you used to look three months ago. You can tell you going down, man. You don't even look the same no more. Damn nigga, man. That says, hey, that's that same dude I just told y'all about, man. That same dude, man. He didn't. He, we didn't deal with that dude like three times, man. And he still don't get it. But he'll have the nerve to come up with, with some scripture that he think he know he know, man. Hey, he he want he wanted them uh he wanted to be uh 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 he think he think Islam the way he all about uh he say he he, he Islam so he want to try to say basically by Sarah having Ishmael. That, that we are really the Ishmaelites of the chosen. Because he had said that same uh, bullshit before. But we didn't give him two 
warnings, two admonitions, so I don't have to deal with his ass no more, man. That's what I was telling, man. Look, you don't you don't believe, bro. You gotta deal with him, man. Uh let's see what it's good shit. It says, Titus 3 and 10, a man that is inherited, it says, after the first and second admonition, reject, man. And that dude been warned already, like three times, man. Because he seen, the first time he saw us, we were on the other side of the street. So that's why I say the first admonition, hey, then, sir. you warn him. Hey, that dude been warned three times. The scriptures say, I'm gonna read it again. It says, uh, it says a man that is inherited, right? Uh, after his first and second admonition, admonition means warning, you reject him. So if you, if you, if you, if you tell this man the scriptures and he don't believe, I ain't gotta keep dealing with him. Because this is a lost cause. That dude don't believe in the scriptures. But he always come every six months with some one scripture that, that he think Islam is the chosen people of this land, of the world. It's not. The Lord, hey, Hagar, the Lord sent her ass out to the bush, her and her son with a damn loaf of bread and a, and a bottle of water. That's how Abraham sent her out. That promise went to Sarah and, and, and her, her, uh, her kids, man. It did not go to the Egyptians, man. They are not, the Egyptians are not the chosen people of the, of the Lord. That's what that guy thinks, man. Hey, man, I just want to say thank you. Hey, bro. I, I hear you. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a brother Christian myself. All right. So, so just, just, All right, bro. So just keep, keep doing the good work. Hey, man, long, as long as the Lord allow me to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, he is. Uh, Preaching God's word. This uh, yeah. Titus, I'm going to go to three. And what was I at? Three and ten? A man that is an heretic, a heretic, uh, that, that's a Greek. Uh, it's a ah, 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 areticos. Areticos. An heretic is a meaning, uh, a follower of a false doctrine, right? He's an heretic, man. That same dude, man, that dealt with that dude like two or three times already, man. And he ain't got it. He's a follower of another doctrine. He follows Islam, man. He follows the wrong thing. He follows the wrong thing, man. If you follow the word of God, if you follow book, if you follow Islam, you are you are under that bondage of Hagar, man. That's what that was saying. He, he didn't believe that. You know. Uh, back to my Jeremiah 13 and 14 because we, I was speaking on the destruction, the end is near and the Lord is getting ready to destroy these Edomites, man, their kingdom and two thirds of our own people, man you know it says it says uh, Jeremiah 13 and 14 and I would dash them one against another even the fathers and the sons together said the Lord Yahweh and I will not pity nor spare nor have mercy but destroy them hear ye and give ear but not proud not not proud for the Lord Yahweh have spoken uh, it says, give ye ear and be not proud. So the Lord is telling you, be not humble. Be not a uh, 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 haughty, man. You gotta be humble in this thing, man. You know? That's what he was saying. The Lord said, I'm gonna destroy you for your abominations, man. And when he said that, that, that dude came up and actually, uh, he actually uh, edified the scriptures. Because he said that he, your abominations, when you go into it, it goes into idol, idols, worshiping of idols and idolatry, man. And that's what that dude worships, man. He worships the uh, uh, the uh, Islam doctrine. Man, I see him all the time, man. Like I said, man, the Lord gonna destroy him. That's all I can tell him. Cause he he ain't he ain't uh, he not getting this, man.